Hi guys, today we're going to be learning how to create our own text editor using the power of GPT-3. So we're going to be plugging Google Docs directly into OpenAI using an API key. This will allow us to harness the power of GPT-3 to create different models within our Google Docs. Let me show you an example. So as I come over here, you can see I have a new menu which I've named GPT-3 blog. And um, so let's say, for example, I want to create an article about dogs. That would be my keyword. I just highlight it and then generate ideas. Now, this is asking GPT-3 for ideas of blogs around the subject of dogs. Now it's selected a list of 10 uh, subjects that we could discuss. Uh, for the sake of this demo, let's just choose the top one and let's ask GPT-3 to make this title more enticing, more, I don't want to say clickbaity, but uh, a nicer title for our users. So generate title. There we go. Finding the perfect pooch. How to choose the right breed dog for your family. Fantastic. Okay, our article is coming along nicely. So next we want an introduction. So what we do again is similar to as before, just highlight our new title. And then we'll go on to generate introduction. Uh, we can delete the rest of this, I suppose. Let's move on. And looking good. So now we're going to need a uh, outline for our blog. Let's just style this up a little bit. Title, a bit big, let's go down. Great, so now we're going to ask for GPT-3 to create a blog outline. So this would be what subjects are we going to cover within this blog? So similar to as before, we just copy this, just paste it here temporarily, and then we go to blog outline. So this will give us our subjects. Obviously, we don't need to cover all of this, and for the sake of the demo, I won't. Uh, we'll just do the first couple. And there we have it. So we already have an introduction, so that can go right off the bat. Uh, so we've got our first topic, overview the, of the importance of finding the right breed dog for your family. Okay, um, so once again, go to here and now we just generate paragraph. Super, let's move this here and style it nicely. Next, we want benefits of having a dog. Style it up. And let's ask for a paragraph again. Awesome. Our blog's coming along nicely. Um, let's say we want to have a picture of a dog here to break things up a little bit. So let's just write a photo of a happy dog with a bone. Highlight that text and then generate image. And there we have it, our happy dog. Um, then we can just basically just go through building out our article paragraph by paragraph. We can ask the, um, the AI to create a whole article, but it's normally better to have some sense of direction and human control over the article. Otherwise, you might just end up getting a lot of gobbledygook, rubbish in, rubbish out. So finally, to end our article, we can just select everything that we have and then generate conclusion. So this will summarize everything that we've spoken about and give us a nice little happy ending. And there we have it, our conclusion. So as you can see, using this method, you can build out an entire article within a couple of minutes. No need to pay for any expensive or subscribe to any super powerful AI writers. You can do everything yourself, custom within Google Docs. So how do we do it? It's actually super easy, and you don't need to know any coding knowledge to do this. It's just a matter of copy and paste. And this method allows you to customize the outputs to your niche or specifications. So let me walk you through it from scratch. So first of all, you need an OpenAI API key. Head over to OpenAI, register, and then you can collect your API key there from the API menu. Once you have your key, go back to Google Docs, and then we have four bits of code here that I've highlighted in different colors. So let's start with the first one. Select that, go over to our new sheet, 
and we're going to call this GP3 Power. So once you're in your Google Docs, head over to Extensions and App Scripts. Once inside App Scripts, we can delete our boilerplate code, which is already there, and paste in our new code. So this is going to be for our menu, which is on our Google Docs page, the drop down. So the menu comprises of two elements, the parent holder and the subcategories. So let's call our parent holder GPT-3 Magic. And at the moment, we've got two subcategories, generate ideas and generate images. And let's save this and have a look to see how that looks. And here we have our menu, GPT-3 Magic. Obviously right now, none of them work because they're not connected to any functions, but the basics is there. Let's head back over to our code. Next, we need our fixed variables. So let's take that and paste that in to our app script. So our fixed variables is basically our API key. So insert your API key here within the quotation marks. I will deactivate this key before I upload this video. So no point trying to take this one from me. And then the second one is the model uh, that we're gonna be using. So on this point, we're gonna be using DaVinci 3. You can use DaVinci 2, the, uh, the older version if you wish, but uh, I'd highly recommend going with the latest one, which is currently DaVinci 3. So now we have our menu and our variables in place, we can start adding our functions and doing the interesting stuff. So let's just copy this prompt I've made earlier and paste it in to our app script. So we want this menu item to connect to this function. And now we need to say, what do we want this function to do? To do this, you simply write in plain English the command that you give the AI. So in our case, generates five log ideas around the word. And then we've got plus selected text. So in the demo, we had dog. So it will generate five blog ideas around the word dog. And that's our first function. To add another function, we can simply highlight that menu paste in a new one and change let's say we want to create a paragraph so this will be what's on the menu item Oops, got the dot. and then let's call it generate para and then we collect select this prompt and we want to create a new one so just copy, paste, generate, we called it para, didn't we? There we go. And then we give it a new command. So with that selected text, write a paragraph. So let's actually change that to write a detailed paragraph about, and then it'll be selected text. So in our case, it will be subtitle and it will write a detailed paragraph about that. Done. Let's save that and have a look to see how that runs. Back to our Google Docs, refresh. Okay, so we can do, let's do cats now. Generate idea. Ah, that's a good point. So first time you do this, you're going to need to allow permissions. Um, so that's just a case of click and continue. Continue. As Google has not verified it, it automatically gives you the warning and then go to protect it and allow. And then you rerun it. Here we go. Here's our five ideas about blog titles. And then we can simply paste that and write a paragraph about it. And there we have it. So obviously using this technique, you can do different prompts, i.e. continue writing, give a conclusion, write headlines, give an outro, and anything else that your niche might require. The possibilities with this method are endless. To do images, it is a little bit slightly different. I'll show you how to do that now. Head back over to our code and then select the generate image. With the images, by the way, you can choose between three settings. There's 256 by 256 pixels, 
512 by 512 or 1024 by 1024. Unfortunately, it doesn't have any in between. Um, I would highly recommend going with 512 unless you want super big ones, but 512 is fine. So let's head back over to our app script and we can paste in the image. This is called generate image. We already have it up there in our menu and there is no other settings that you need for this because it generates images based on the selected word. So we can save that, head back over here. Uh, black kitten. As it is a prompt, the more detailed you write, the better. A photo of a black kitten sleeping so we don't get the weird eyes. And then generate image and there we have it that a kitten a, in some sense what is that is that his ear all right so but anyway we have our cat and we have our blog and that's how you build it out so you can add as many as you want be as detailed or quirky as you want and that is how we use the power of gpt3 within google docs and not need to spend a lot of money on other ai writers that do similar but with their own models this way you can customize it to yourself anyway i hope you enjoyed the tutorial take care thank you alex out